What's up guys? So today is Sunday, May 2nd, 2021. It's been a really, really long time since I have put out a video. I think my last video was oh, somewhere around when I bought my first storage unit. Um, I haven't bought any more since, but that was like the end of July of 2020. Um, so I kind of took a bit of a hiatus off of YouTube and I'm trying to get back in the swing of things. Um, if you want any kind of life update, if you stay tuned till the end of this video, I may throw in a few updates, just life updates. But today's video is going to be about um, my resale room. I actually switched rooms recently, so I'm going to kind of, you know, walk through what I've done. Um, it's still a work in progress, so it's going to take me some time to, you know, get everything organized, kind of. I'm a little OCD, so it's going to take me some time to organize how I want it. Um, I also wanted to mention before I go over my resale room that um, I will be on Rachel Reinventing Rachel, her channel, on Thursday night. She and Amber of Ooh Ah Crochet um, do auctions on Thursday nights. And I joined them this last Thursday, um, helped helped mod for them, and I will be joining them again this coming Thursday. If you're not subscribed to their channels, I will put the links down below in the description box. And um, you guys come on over, and we hope to see you there Thursday night. And it should be at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So... Recently, my youngest son moved out. Um, I've actually filmed this room that I'm in um, before, but it was when it was his room. Um, it was really cool. He has all these, um, he does collectible Star Wars Legos, Avengers, all kinds of stuff. He built an R2-D2 um, out of a 3D printer, um, painted it, sanded it, put it all together, took about a year to complete. Um, so it was in that video um, that I did sometime last year. So recently he moved out into his own apartment and I decided to take over his room because it's bigger than my other resale room. So last year in about May of last year, um, around Memorial Day, I redid my resale room that I was in, tried to get it a little bit more organized. Um, so you can find that that video in my past videos. But I just recently changed, so I kind of want, this room's bigger, um, it's more space. I had kind of a vision in my head and it's starting to come together. Um, this room still doesn't hold all of the stuff that I have because I've kind of hoarded a bunch of stuff. Um, I like to buy and I haven't been really good at listing. And the storage unit that I purchased last year was full of fabric. Um, I, I have so much fabric right now. Um, I feel bad because I was supposed to sell, you know, lots of my, um, fabric bundles that I did to someone and I took a hiatus. So I'm trying to, you know, get back into the groove of things, but it's going to take me a long while to get all of that fabric sold, get it listed, um, whatever I figure out with it. So my hallway actually has totes of random fabric and other items and my bedroom has a few totes of other things too so i'm trying to get things <laughs> under control um but i mean part of it is i haven't listed much at all in the last year my ebay store has about 400 items in it right now and um, i sell items and i try to update listings every now and then and I've just in the past couple of months I've slowly started to get into the groove of listing again so it's been kind of crazy so um, let me kind of show you guys this room so this right here um, all those over there the bankers boxes so a lot of this stuff right there um, I have boxes numbered 1 through 40 right now so the ones that are lower um, have numbers on them. The ones up high is product that I bought that I haven't listed yet. Um, so then right here, I put up a wall using 
three nine count cube organizers. I made myself a wall. So let me kind of switch the camera over real quick. So this is from this view. So this is a wall and I have like different things. I have office supplies, I have crafting items. Um, it works out really well. It's kind of divided my space where my desk, my, be my desk is back there. I'll show you in a minute, but it has divided my space up to where I can have kind of a desk and some organization going on. And so right there's all my banker's boxes. All the ones with numbers have stuff that I've listed on eBay. This is how I code things. There's a few items that I haven't listed yet in random boxes, but for the most part, most of this stuff on these shelves are listed. Um, up above are extra items that I haven't listed or sold yet. Um, then this, I'm really proud of this setup. I just recently completed this setup. Um, that um, roller, vinyl roller, is actually a roller shade for a window. Um, it was much cheaper than purchasing a photography backdrop and trying to um, get that all set up and organized. So I just purchased, it's a 55 inch roller shade and um, it can drop down six and a half feet, which is great. So it's perfect for pictures. So um, I have several lights set up right now. They're not exactly where I want them, but just to kind of show you guys my setup. And there's a little um, vintage cookie jar there that I have. I built this table. Um, I got this idea from um, somebody on YouTube that built like a craft table out of cube organizers. They actually use the Ikea ones. We don't have an Ikea here. So I bought two six count cube organizers um, from Walmart. And then I bought a four count cube organizer online. I bolted them together and I put, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of dark, but I put wheels on them. Um, I kind of spent way too much money on the wheels because I bought them at Home Depot and I should have bought them at Harbor Freight. Then I took a piece of um, press board from Home Depot and it was a four by eight foot sheet and I had them cut it in half. Um, and then from there I routed out, um, I, I routed, <laughs> I routered um, the edges and everything and I just put um, probably two or three coats of um, oil-based paint um, and I decided it doesn't work that well with pictures. I was hoping it would work well but I it, it kind of scratches so I already got a scratch on the table. So I like this vinyl roller shade better and then I can just roll up the roller shade whenever I'm not using it. Um, so over here, I just bought this shelf. This shelf is, um, I bought it off Amazon. It's plastic and I actually thought by the pictures that it was metal. Um, shame on me for not checking the description. But what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna put my DVDs um, on the shelf and label them like shelf A, shelf B, shelf C, you know. And it'll just be easier for me to grab when I sell DVDs. Right now I have them kind of in boxes so um, it'll just be easier and it'll take up less space in a random box so I live in an old house so I have old doors but this is the closet so I have made this closet I have made it into kind of a shipping area on this side so I took my bubble wrap and I put it on a closet rod um, so all my shipping supplies are on this side of the closet, and then I've got the boxes and stuff up there. Um, on the other side is just random items that I either need to list or extra stuff. Um, clothing that I need to list. There's a costume. So I st still have some work to do on that. Um, then right here, I just have... There's some cute bears I bought. I'm going to give my son one of those because he's a mailman. But I got those at an estate. Um, poly bags right there. And then I just have some random junk that I'm still dealing with. So here's some more shelves over here. 
Um, and all of this stuff is stuff that, well, if it has a number, there's a couple of boxes I haven't listed, but these numbers right here are eBay. But the rest of this stuff, I haven't listed this stuff yet. Um, and then just going back to this wall real quick. So some of these cubes, you know, go through because they don't have backings. And I made the mistake. I was like trying to shove the drawer shut yesterday after I got a marker and I pushed it straight through to my desk in the back. So I am going to figure that out. So see, I kind of made, I don't know if you can see it. Let's see. I kind of made like a little office space back here. It's a little dark. I've got to figure out the lighting, but this is where, you know, I can sit um, and do YouTube videos. I've got auction lots right there. It's kind of a mess because I still need to figure out where to put stuff, but that's my printer stand. My Cricut's going to go on the bottom. I've got two auction lots at the bottom of that right now. Um, I rehung my my backdrop that I used in my other room, I rehung it back here. Um, and then I'm gonna decorate this shelf. I've got more stuff. There's there's so much stuff that I have, it's just really sad. Um, and then there's my desk. So I've gotta figure out lighting back here cause it is kind of dark and see that's the back of the cube organizer. So I'm gonna do something with that. So um, I still have work to do in this room, but if you can see like it's a nice division like a nice wall dividing my desk space, you know, slash YouTube, whatever. Um, and then my listing and shipping area. And I'd say, I think this room is probably about a 12 by 15 room. But I'm happy with the way this has turned out. I, you know, I have more cube storage down there. Um, on this side... I have my boxes out because I'm listing items right now, but I have more space to put cubes and, and things. Um, and then right here on this side, I have tape down at the bottom and these are gonna be kind of my main like shipping listing supplies that are just easily accessible. I bought two stools, I put one together. It's adjustable. I did a nice overhang on both sides so that way people can sit, they can do crafts if we wanted to, um, if we wanted to, um, sew anything, it's a really nice, big, it's like four by four foot, um, tabletop. So I'm real happy with that. So that's kind of what I've been up to. I've been working on this for, um, since the beginning of the month when my son, um, beginning of April when my son moved out. Um, so just a couple of life updates. Um, so my daughter and my daughter-in-law were both pregnant at the same time last year. And then my daughter miscarried. Um, it was really difficult for her. Um, she still has trouble off and on, um, you know, and she's still trying to get pregnant. Um, so that happened in the summer, uh, last year. Um, my son's chocolate lab that he had, she was only two years old. Um, I had him take her to get fixed because she needed to be fixed. And the night that she was fixed, um, she just acted kind of tired. We didn't think anything of it. And then she passed away in her kennel. Um, it was very difficult. Um, we were attached to her. She was a very happy loving dog tried to do cpr on her and it was really painful um for me um and it was very painful for him this was a dog that he got when his oldest daughter was little and and he thought she would be in the family for a long time and the the vet basically said she had a bleeding disorder um they did an autopsy on her and found that um all of her her stitches and everything were attached, but she just, you know, she bled internally and it was really hard. So then um, in November, I was sick. I was sick for like a week. I actually thought I had COVID at the time. I was tested twice and I tested negative. Um, I started to think 
as the days went on and I still felt sick. So the doctor, the first doctor I went to with the first test gave me antibiotic and um, steroids. So they gave me cortisone pills and in, in a high dose antibiotic. Um, I'm not used to taking that kind of stuff. And so I think that that's what made me feel worse and it took me longer to feel better. Um, so, I mean, I've been well ever since everything's good. And, um, I started doing carnivore at the end of September. Um, I was down 25 pounds. Um, I fluctuate about five pounds right now cause I'm not super strict, but it works really well for me. So I've maintained 20 pound weight loss. Um, I have a lot more weight to go if I can just get my brain to focus. I've been really busy at work um, recently. Like, I've just had more and more things that I've needed to get done. So, it's a little stressful. And then my daughter-in-law had my grandson. And um, at the end of January, he was actually probably about a month early. But he's doing well. He's three months old now. Super excited. This is my third grandchild. I love, love, love my grandchildren. Um, I see my granddaughters usually um, every weekend because my oldest son lives here and and he's going through a divorce. So his um, daughters come over usually on Saturday or Sunday. So um, super fun, super busy. Um, I a lot of times I'm just limited <laughs> with the time, but I'm trying to get back on YouTube. So um, again, um, if you guys want to hang out with us Thursday night, I'll be over on Rachel's channel uh, with Rachel and Amber. And I'll be sure to drop the links in the description. And I mean, that's it for the update. So I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.